Okay, uh, hello, I'm gonna, this is a tutorial video on a skip for Tower of Hell, because you might have tried, you know, using no clip or something along those lines, and it didn't work, it'll kick you, right? Um, I'll prove it to you right now, I haven't executed anything besides, like, the stuff that's in my auto-execute, so you, I have no clip, then I turn it on, and it kicks me. Okay, you, you think that the script kicks me? No, it's literally just a no clip. Okay, now we're gonna get into actually scripting it. Oh yeah, daily reminder to use JJ Sploit Premium. Okay, this is skid. But yeah, I, I made this video because I seen like there was like an obfuscated Tower of Hell bypass and I'm like, dude, come on. It's such a simple script to make too. Okay, so basically, uh, what we're doing here is there's a script inside of the player scripts folder. I can't show it because the decompiler right now is uh, broken. I'm pretty sure. So there's a function called kick. Right now, I have it set to print kick, but in the actual game, it will literally kick you and it will lag the game out if you don't get kicked. So I'll show you what this does. So it'll run this which will print kick but then it'll yoink the function and make it print don't kick so you can see that here it's the same function too so basically we're gonna do that so you can see here uh, I already have the script right here so we're gonna rewrite it so for a func in pairs get gc Get GC just gets the garbage collector, which is like, just a bunch of functions and stuff that the uh, like in every script. That's Fran essentially. Don't really know how to explain it. So if type of func equals equals function, we only want functions because the function func the function kick is a function. Okay, tongue twister my uh, I don't know. Anyways, we'll do if debug dot get info funk equals equals oh wait uh, here let's copy this because if you store it in a variable like it'll crash I don't know why maybe it's sign ups is update that was released today I don't know if debug like info dot name equals equals kick because I've looked inside of the script before when the decompiler actually worked and there was a function kick which would literally kick you and it would crash the game if you bypass kicks. Okay, so then what we're gonna do hook function and then debug deck info func dot func. We should probably change the name to make it like an F. And then function you can have whatever you want here. You can make it like do anything you want. It's just a normal function. So we'll do print game try to kick bypassed. And then just because we'll do uh, like execute it at the end here. Alright, anyways, you seen what happens when you ran the no clip script. It literally doesn't have any sort of kick or whatever. Now we're going to execute this. And it says, you see, it says executed. Then when we run the same scripts, same exact script as this, and we toggle it, it'll say game try to kick bypass. You guys saw it's kicking? That is inside of the script. It'll tell you what kind of kick it is. Because let's say the devs wanted to like see if they found the bypass or something, and they don't know about this, which I'm very sorry if I do release this. Although I don't really know how they're supposed to go around this. Maybe use like a module script or something. I have no idea. No, I'm not trying to give them ideas though. Uh, but yeah, so this also works for a fly. I have really bad fly scripts, um, but it's it for the most part works like every other. You see, game tried to kick bypassed. Uh, so yeah, that's how to make a Tower of Hell anti-cheat bypass script. Uh, this can work for a lot of other games too if they use a function and you know the name of it. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the script. That's the tutorial. Uh, it's taking a minute to look at my beautiful character, and that's it for this tutorial video. See you guys later.